Here's the story of a witch and hero. The stars of this freaking 3DS game. They were feeling kind of ballsy. Leroy Jenkins. And now the witch is stone. Fortunately, there's still the hero who's fully capable of walking around. He can bump things like a freaking pinball. I think he's probably drunk. All right, I I'm sorry. <laughs> Call up Alice and tell her to load the eShop or ask politely since it's 2013. It's Witch and Hero for the Nintendo 3DS. You see, this is interesting. This thing's arrived to the now thriving eShop to kind of harsh reviews. A lot of people just aren't feeling this game. And although they certainly raise good points, I do feel this game. I feel it like Greg felt Marsha. Allegedly. So you play witch and hero as a witch and hero. Turns out Medusa's being a real bitch about things. So Witch and Hero go to stop her. Of course, they lose. So now you have to fend off all these monsters and protect your stone witch. Fortunately, she isn't entirely helpless. And thus begins Witch and Hero. You control the hero, primarily. The circle pad moves him around, and he can attack enemies simply by bumping into them. No buttons to push, no swords to swing. Just walk into them. And that's the first really interesting thing about Witch and Hero. If you're just ramming into people, you'll still kill them, but you'll lose health. See, the best way to attack them is from behind. It does more damage, and it's safer for you. So you end up having to weigh your options. Do you have time to attack from the back, or do you have to hurry up and just slam into things? Sometimes you have no choice but to attack head on. Or so you thought, because then you die. <laughs> That said, you, you don't really die, you just sort of you pass out, and while your health regenerates, the enemies keep moving, heading straight for the witch, and once her health is gone, it's game over. So it's like, there's an element of tower defense, in a sense, as well as a bit of old-school action RPG goodness. But like I said, the witch can defend herself a bit, so you can collect blood from the enemies, and if you take it back to the witch, she basically turns into a little turret. While she's active, you can choose between her two attacks and aim her fire, all while controlling the hero as well. But what I love about this game is that it gets really hectic, and it's addictive too. The enemies drop gold, which you can use to level up the hero's abilities. So it's really this, this old school, level grinding, top down action RPG thing. And that's kind of awesome. Now, of course, the game's far from perfect. I mean, some more animations would have been nice. At least something when you attack. To make it look like you're not just walking into things like a crazy person. And a little diversity in the level design would have been great. In fact, I think that's the one thing this game needed the most. That really would have added another layer of strategy from level to level. <laughs> I don't want you to think Witch and Hero is some amazing 3DS game, but I don't want you to think it sucks either, because it definitely doesn't suck. It was a really interesting game. Could have been way better with a few tweaks and additions, but even as is, I mean, Witch and Hero is at least better than the Partridge Family. 